Hello everyone, welcome to the Comic Gamer Movie Show. My name is Deshaun, and let's talk about that X, no, an Xbox, PlayStation 5 reveal. First of all, I didn't really watch the whole thing because I was working. But I do got the cliff notes. First of all, the PlayStation 5 design. Let's just get into that alone. First of all, personally, I am not that massive of a fan of the PS5's you know, design, I think it looks a little bit awkward. It just looks awkward. It looks like, you know what it looks like? It looks like the iron, it looks like, uh, it looks like Danny Rand's pop collar. Like, it, like, like literally it's like the black box inside and you got this like pop collar thing going with, but like, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not, I really don't like that design. It just looks weird to me. The controllers look okay. Um, I haven't you. I haven't had a place uh, a PlayStation for a very long time. Um, they do look a little bulky to me. Um, I would have thought they would have went with something a little bit more sleek. But I mean, like I said, like they look okay. Like the controllers, you know, they look fine. Um, I, and the first time, it's the first time I ever saw this though. And comment below in the comment section if they're if you've seen this before. I've never seen um, they they have two different consoles. One t takes discs. And the other one is all digital. I didn't know they. I didn't even know they had all digital consoles for PlayStation or Xbox. So that's that's interesting. I never saw that before. Like that's the first time I ever saw that. I was like, "There's an all digital." I was like, "And what's the point?" Um, I, I'd have to see the price difference, right? You know, obviously, I want to see the price difference on that. Like, if all digital has more gigs, you know, has more space, terabytes, I suppose. If it has more space for me to download stuff, and you know, fuck it, I might just get it. And it, but if it, it but if it costs like a lot more, then I might as well just get the other one. I mean, shit. I mean, I don't usually have this. I have, I do buy. Di I can't lie. I do buy this for games that I care about. I buy the disc for. Well, okay, that's a lie. That's not true. For games that I care about that I've been anticipating, I buy the disc for because you know I've been anticipating it, so I've been already planning in my mind when I can go and get a physical copy of it. I do get the disc for because I did get the disc for Resident Evil 2. I got the disc for um, I got the disc for everything. I got the disc for Fallout 4. I got the disc for um, for um Red Dead Redemption 2. So I do. I use if it's a big if it's something that I value like a lot. If it's a game that I'm like I can't wait to get. I I I I really want to. Like I am so anticipating this. I am so hyped for this. I will buy the physical game. But if it's a game I'm on the fence about, I'll probably end up waiting and buying it digitally. If I buy it digitally, nine times out of ten, I'm probably gonna just wait until like you know there's a deal out and it's like and it's like twenty bucks off. Then I'll buy it. But you know, that's just how I am. But so I'm curious. Like they have, I heard. I don't think they put any price tags out on any of this stuff yet. They just you know showed it in this over the top. What's with the video game companies in these over the top like intros to show their fucking product? It's like, dude, I saw the trailer for it. It was like. Two, it was like a three minute montage of nothing, of some random shit before they actually showed you the actual PS5. And it was like this weird music, dude. Like, dude, I'm like, oh, just show me the PS5, dude. Just show it to me. I know presentation and everything. You want to, ooh, nah. But I'm like, dude, just show me the PS5. And, I, uh, and like I said, I'm not, the, I'm not that crazy about the design, but it was the functionality of it is what counts the most. I've already, like, I, I will say, I played the the newest Hitman games, and when I heard that they're basically they're going to give up, they were going to be giving away the third Hitman game for free with the purchase of it, I was a bit like, hmm, should I jump back? Should I jump back to the PlayStation? I've been an Xbox guy for quite a bit. I was, it's funny, I start off as a PlayStation guy, a PlayStation 1 and a PlayStation 2. And somewhere along the way, I thought the Xbox looked better. Literally, that's it. I like the design of the Xbox 360 better than the PlayStation 3. I thought it looked cooler, so I got an so I got an Xbox 360. Me at the time, I didn't know that there was exclusive games. I thought all the games were just made for the consoles, and it was just like oh, just two different consoles. It just depends on who you like more. That's all I thought. God, I wish I would have known better. I would have got the PlayStation. I would have got the PlayStation because I would at least I would have got to play Uncharted. I would have got to play Last of Us. I would have got to play the God of War games, like. I would have got to play the collections of like Ratchet and Clank and fucking Slide Cooper and fucking um Jack and Daxter. I can't do that with the fucking Xbox. 
I'm debating it. I am really debating jumping back. It's really in me. I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. I've been an Xbox guy for for the last two gens, so it's really. I'm like, uh, you know, I guess I've been given. You know, I was, a, I was a I was a PlayStation guy for two gens. I was an Xbox guy for two gens. Maybe it's time to go back to the PlayStation. They have too many big exclusives. And their whole presentation that they did, and they showed off a lot of things. I am not going to really talk about the Spider-Man um, thing, even though that presentation was pretty cool because it's just really a glorified DLC. Though, I might talk about it because it looks like a lot of people are confused about that. So, I might talk about it. But, here, but, my, if, but if you guys want my thoughts on the presentation, the design, the idea, the, the, con the things, the, what we have at least in front of us for the PS5 is... I'm not crazy about the design. I, I'm not crazy about the design on any of this stuff on that. I think that some. I think that the controllers look a little bulky, and I think that the fucking actual console is designed weird, awkwardly. But none of that matters. All that matters is how it feels in my hand. The controller feels in my hand, and how it operates, and how the game itself plays. That's all that matters at the end of the day. How it looks and how it plays. We haven't gotten that. All we got was how it. All we got was a presentation of how it looks so until we get more on it i'm gonna leave this topic a little blank but i just know that a lot of people are talking about it and i really wanted to get my opinion out there on my thoughts on the ps5 so thank you guys for coming to the comedy game movie show please remember to like subscribe i'll see you in the next one goodbye